till 4 p.m. On Sunday, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Any vessel planning on the party in one aggressive day, please come down. Straight out of here. Uh, heading south to Wardrop Wells today. Um, and we're fortunate enough to get a Moran ball, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, but um, pretty awesome that we're just under full sail straight out of the <laughs> straight out of our, uh, our mooring mooring anchorage. So not used to Not used to that. Like the sound of no engine running. So beautiful. We're we're enjoying it. for a little adv island adventure. So fun! Time for some dindins. Go and explore Wardrick Wells. Got dinghy full of gear.
I'll try our next dive spot. First one was awesome, but you can't get over this challenge. Gatorade blue, apparently. last spot at least the last spot for the day before we go and hike the island again <laughs> maybe have a sundowner on the island too what once was some of the best snorkeling in the bahamas supposedly i guess it's been exposed to the sun and algae growth for some time now but it used to be one of the best certainly the biggest one we've seen so far definitely the biggest we've seen so far the last one was kick ass though that Real quick cars. Really cool. Especially that stingray too. That was breathtaking, that roof. Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. Such a beautiful dive. So we're gonna head on back. There she is. Ready for adventures. Ready for adventures. Seems to be a bit of a trend. Um, so we were planning to leave today, but weather's looking like this. So we were lucky enough to be able to extend our moorings. Stay on the ball another day. So gonna have a have a chill one today. Play catch up.
I got some homemade bread. And homemade hummus. <laughs> and our sandwich spread. We're feasting today. considering bypassing uh, the aquarium just because the sail was going so well for a change but we are still got to stick to our plan.
time, got up here to drop the anchor and our windlass um, did not seem to be working, which is uh, frightening. So Nick got out our second anchor and threw that in. It's the first time we've ever used it. And now is working on trying to figure out what the heck happened with our windlass that wasn't allowing us to drop our actual anchor. All right, heading south to the little major spot. We've got about 18 knots of wind behind us. Both sails up. Lighting south. <laughs> 